Intramuscular versus sub-Q, which method is best absorbed? Uh, that is going to depend. I have not seen anybody who claims that they are on, let me just fix my camera again, sorry guys. I'm trying to do a lot of things at the same time here, there we go. I have not seen anybody on intramuscular shots claim that their bodies are not absorbing testosterone. I have seen guys on subcutaneous shots who report their bodies are not um, absorbing testosterone. Now, I'm finding that for most guys, if they're on intramuscular shots or subcutaneous shots, it doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference. Uh, I'm one of those guys, I've done labs on intramuscular, I've done labs on sub-Q, my levels don't change, they're pretty much the same. Um, so for me, it's the same. Now, if you're the type of guy that you're on a you know, reasonably high dose of testosterone, you're doing subcutaneous shots, and you're just finding it curious that your levels aren't as high as you'd expect them to be, I would strongly recommend trying intramuscular. Try intramuscular and see, does that raise your levels up? If it does, well, that demonstrates that you weren't, your body wasn't really absorbing at sub-Q. Yeah, if it doesn't have any impact, then just do whatever you preferred. Okay, so I don't have a preference. Um, however, when I'm dealing with guys with single digit SHBG, they're really, really low SHBG, or they're hypersensitive to testosterone, or they're hypersensitive to anxiety or insomnia, and I'm getting them to do daily shots for a while, just so we can kind of figure out what their um, total testosterone, uh, sorry, what their ideal weekly testosterone is. Um, the notion of doing daily shots intramuscularly kind of bothers me. Uh, now, if you can get by doing these subcutaneous, and get, get levels and fine. Um, so it, it, it really, really all depends. To say, you know, let's say for, for example, you got a guy, I, I, I spoke with one this week, a guy who's doing intramuscular shots, but he can only inject in his left delt. He uses his right hand to inject. He only injects in his left delt. Um, and he wants to do daily shots, but he, he, he's afraid to inject anywhere else. So he's gonna be putting a hole in his delt like seven times a week, week after week after week after week that will eventually cause some scar tissue. If you're gonna do that, I would much prefer just using a really, really tiny needle and doing subcutaneous shots, okay? Uh, we're not worrying about damaging muscle fibers and whatever else. This video was sponsored by online pharmacy NP Labs. Use the link in the description to get a 5% discount on your first order. It's where I get my compounded testosterone cream, pregnenolone, DHEA, Tadalafil, peptides, and much more.